Hey everybody, so this video is going to go over all of our skincare lines. We have eight different skincare lines and I'm going to go over the active ingredients in each, what those ingredients do, um, and what skin types each line is good for. So um, I'm just going to jump like right in. Just so you know, all of our products do follow the golden rules, just like everything else we've talked about before. Uh, golden rules here at pharmacy. We are paraben free, SLS free, non-GMO, dermatologically tested. We have no animal ingredients, no endangered plants. Uh, we are not tested on animals and um, everything is created in a lab environment. Also, just so you are aware with all the skincare lines, a big question I get is the um, if there are any scents, perfumes in it. We use no added artificial um, scents. Okay. So no harsh perfumes are put into it. The scent that you get from these products are just the, um, the scent of the natural ingredients that are put in. Okay. So let's start right off. I'm actually going to end with my favorite last. So you got to go through everything until you hear my favorite. Um, so let's start with the activated charcoal series. So this series actually only has two products. It's one of those things where I just incorporate these two products into my current skincare routine. Um, clogged pores, we know, are a result of excess sebum and dead skin that gets trapped into the pores instead of sloughing off and releasing into the environment. Um, active charcoal draws out the impurities of the pores and makes pores less visible. So dirt, oil, blackheads, all the things get sucked out. It also has rosemary extract, which is an antioxidant that protects and calms. Also eucalyptus oil, which is known for purifying or for its purifying and cleansing properties. Um, activated charcoal would not be recommended if you have sensitive skin, just so you're aware. Like I said, there's a toner and a mask. I like to use these about once a week, maybe once or twice every other week, just to give myself a really good pore cleanse. The charcoal mask is just like those black masks that you've seen go viral in some videos. Um, you put it on very thickly. That will help with the um, ear, uh, the, the, the pain. I mean, there's no other word for it. That can happen when you take off the black mask. Um, one little tip is to be sure to shave your face before you apply the mask. Get all that peach fuzz off. Otherwise, you will be ripping off the peach fuzz with the mask. Some of you, that might be... Um, that might be a thing that you like, I don't know. But me personally, I take a little tinkle razor, shave the face first, then do the mask and get all of the pores um, cleared out that way. Just a little tip. Um, next thing I'm gonna mention is the Lumi Radiance line. This is the activated charcoal, sorry. The activated charcoal and the Lumi Radiance line, those kind of stand on their own. Like if, like if this is your issue, this is definitely the products that you need. All other six that I'm going to talk about, um, you'll see more as I talk about them. Like if you have a problem, you could go one way or the other between two different lines, and I will explain the differences there. So, Lumi Radiance. Sun exposure over time um, can cause our body to overproduce melanin, okay? And that is just to defend itself. We're defending it... Um, our body is defending itself against the, the over sun exposure by overproducing melanin. So that causes obviously dark spots and um, uneven skin tone. So Lumi Radiance helps to decrease that melanin synthesis reaction. Also, um, active ingredients in the uh, Lumi Radiance line, papaya extract, which helps with hyperpigment, hyperpigmentation that occurs after a breakout. Um, so acne scarring, okay? So not just dark spots, age spots, acne scars, melasma. Um, also white sand lily, that helps brighten and even out skin tone. And then bearberry extract, which is an active ingredient that um, helps illuminate and brighten uh, your complexion. The Lumi Radiance line contains a, I'm doing this by memory, face wash. Um, I've got it behind me. I should have brought it all in front of me. Face wash, toner, uh, face cream, the brightening serum, and an eye cream. I believe that's all. Any corrections from this video, I will put down in the com or down in the description. Um, so, um, yeah. What was I saying? 
Lumi Radiance line. Great for dark spots, hyperpigmentation. That's something also if you have other issues, like we're wanting to have anti-aging properties, but yet I also have dark spots. I would recommend just adding in the Lumi Radiance um, Brightening Serum into your current routine, okay? Now let's go back to our Calendula series. That's actually my favorite line. Um, it is our sensitive skin formula and sensitive skin must be cared for very, um, properly, protectively, right? We have to take care of sensitive skin. So we have in the calendula line, a face wash, a face toner, the, um, face cream, the cream balsam and the calendula oil. So I use the, me personally use the face wash and the toner every single day, day and night. It's my favorite face wash because it foams up. I'm someone that if I don't have like, if I don't see suds, then I don't think I'm clean. Um, and the calendula face wash does suds up and it also doesn't have me feeling really tight and dry afterwards. I feel, you know how sometimes you, you um, wash your face and when you get out, like you're just so tight and irritated and dry and you can't smile and can't do anything until you get your moisturizer on. The calendula doesn't do that. It is all about soothing and relaxing and calming. Um, same thing with the face toner. The toner, typically when I've used toners in the past, they have been very, um, more like an astringent and it's very painful and it stings and it burns and it doesn't, I swear there's like moisturizing properties in this toner. It is so soothing. I actually feel more moisturized after using this toner. It's crazy. Um, so the, the calendula oil is the main active ingredient in the calendula series. It's deeply hydrating. It nurtures the skin. Um, and it's just naturally anti-inflammatory to help calm irritated skin. It also has echinacea extract, which nourishes from the inside out. It's a very healing flower that is loaded with antioxidants. Um, we also have a, um, a little concoction of marshmallow root extract and burdock extract. Those two together soothe redness, um, obviously moisturize and comfort the skin. Um, if you are someone who has eczema, psoriasis, this can help tremendously. Um, I use the, I'm gonna tell you the differences between the cream, the face cream and the cream balsam here in a minute. But um, cream balsam I use on my daughter's eczema uh, my other daughter has some um, rosacea. The whole calendula series has done wonders for her skin. Um, while we are on the subject, let me just go ahead. Face cream, cream balsam. Face cream, obviously, because people will want to know the difference. Difference in size, obviously. You do get more product with the cream balsam, but there's a reason for that. So the face, the, um, the, the face cream is obviously for the face. The cream balsam is more for your body, although you can also use it on your face. So face cream, obviously just a white cream that soaks into the skin beautifully. This can go under makeup. Um, this can be your night cream, anything like that. It just, it really soaks in, super moisturizing. Love the natural fragrance and it. it smells really good. And then the cream balsam, as you can see, is much more thick. Um, it is more of an oily formula very very thick doesn't immediately soak in but eventually does this personally my personal use for this um is in the winter actually it happens it happens all year round but it's worse in the winter when you get that like chicken skin that's really really irritated i get it on my legs it's super itchy it's red i scratch the crap out of it i end up causing like um i like will literally scratch red scratches into myself and cause bleeding because it gets so bad can't sleep just irritates the crap out of me so when it comes on what i do is once i get out of the shower as you can tell i've used this a lot um, when i get out of the shower i just slather this stuff up all over my legs then i put on my sweatpants and um go to bed and when i wake up the next day it is significantly reduced and it's so, it feels so much better and it's so soothing and it's calming and the chicken skin is gone and I'm like, hallelujah, praise the Lord. So, um, 
that is the difference between the two. You can use the cream balsam on the face, but I would not recommend it to be used um, underneath your makeup, like during the day. You wouldn't want to put it on and then try to put makeup on top. It's just going to be too oily. So um, if you have like a spot of eczema on your face, you can use this um, at night before bed, kind of dab it on there, go to sleep. You could use it the next day. I'm just saying don't um, put any makeup on top of it. Um, it's good for any really, really dry, cracked elbows. It's really good for men who have dry, cracked, calloused, painful hands. Slather this puppy on, put on some gloves, put on some socks, whatever, go to sleep, wake up, and it will be much, much better. Okay. So another one that's really good for dry skin is the Aqua Series. So I want to talk about that, and then we can talk about the differences and like which direction you should go if you fall into that category. So the Aqua series is our very hydrating series. Um, it's good for dry, dehydrated skin types. That is when you have really dull, patchy skin or really rough, dry um, patches or you're really flaky. Um, the active ingredients in the Aqua line is, um, this is a big one, hyaluronic acid. So if you're someone who just is reaching and searching and looking for a good hyaluronic acid complex, the Aqua series is the one you want. If you don't know, Aqua or, um, hyaluronic acid is just an anti-aging powerhouse. It's pure hydration in a bottle. Um, it provides continuous hydration and supports skin, the skin's natural moisture barrier. It offers immediate and long-lasting moisture for up to 48 hours. It also has sodium PCA, which brings back the skin's elasticity and helps the skin look supple and refreshed. Also contains um, seawater, which fights against environmental factors and keeps skin quenched and protected. Um, in the Aqua series, there is a cleanser, the Hydra Boosting Drops, the face cream, and the eye cream. Me personally, I like the Hydra Boosting Drops. I like to add it to like everything. <laughs> Um, if I want to add just, a, I just need a little bit of a moisture boost to my face cream, my day cream, my night cream, whatever it is, put some hydro boosting drops in there and you just get like that added moisture. So, um, if you're someone who falls into that category, which direction should you go? Calendula or aqua? I would say that if your main concern is sensitivity, redness, inflammation, go with a calendula. If your main issue is dull, patchy, dry, flaky, then go with the Aqua Series, okay? Um, next, let's talk about our acne line and our tea tree line, because those are our good oily, acne-prone skin um, routines. So acne is caused by excess oil production, clogged pores, and inflammation. Um, so the acne series helps to unclog pores while managing sebum production and lessens the acne scarring that can happen. The active ingredients in the acne series are 2% salicylic acid and glycolic acid. Those are the two chemical ingredients in our acne series. We also have some natural ingredients. Um, natural ingredients are willow bark, witch hazel, and marine water, but let's talk a little bit about the two chemical ingredients. So 2% salicylic acid, which is well known uh, for reducing acne and by exfoliating the skin and keeping pores clear. The glycolic acid increases cell turnover. So the, the combination of those two chemical ingredients target acne without over drying. Um, the acne series has a cleanser, toner, a blemish control serum, and the face cream. The blemish control serum is what I personally like to use when I have the occasional breakout. So I will say that I am someone who used to say I have very oily, acne prone skin. Um, if you zoom in, of course our foundation's freaking amazing at covering this. So, uh, but you can still see a little bit underneath here, some of the acne scars, just to prove that I'm not lying. I used to have very acne prone skin. Um, but since starting pharmacy skincare four years ago, my skin has dramatically changed. 
and I no longer really have an issue with breakouts except for just the monthly hormonal issues, you know. So when that happens, I usually just grab the acne control serum um, and use it as a spot treatment and it does amazing. I do it at night, just kind of dab it on, um, go to sleep and when I wake up, the spot is significantly reduced, if not gone, the redness is gone. It's just, it just heals it much, much faster. Uh, the pimple. Okay, tea tree series. This is for oily skin. Now, oily skin is caused by the overproduction of sebum in the sebaceous glands. Too much sebum can clog the pores. So tea tree sweeps away the excess sebum, um, leaving skin clear without over drying. So it obviously contains tea tree oil. That's an essential oil that's best known for antibacterial properties. Um, it supports sebum balance and it soothes acne related inflammation. Also has thyme extract, which brings soothing and comfort to acne prone skin. And it has antioxidant um, properties to soothe inflammation. You'll notice kind of a, um, a recurring thing here, a recurring theme through all these is everything is very soothing, relaxing, calming, gentle, okay? Um, think very zen spa-like experience with our, with our skin cares. Um, there's nothing harsh, okay? We follow European standards, so we do not have those harsh toxic chemicals in our ingredients, okay? Um, we also have rosemary extract. It's a potent antioxidant that protects skin and calms inflammation. Now in the tea tree line, we have the face wash, toner, serum, face cream, and the cream balsam. So there's also a cream and a cream balsam in the tea tree line. Again, tea tree, or the um, cream balsam uh, would be more for acne on the body, um, rubbing it like on the shoulders, the back, any place like that where the face cream belongs on the face. Okay. Let's now go to my two favorite, okay? These two are our anti-aging lines. Now, actually first, before I do that, let me go back and say, if you're someone who falls into the category oily, acne, which line should you go with? I would say if you are, like if your main issue is severe oiliness, maybe with an occasional breakout, or maybe you have significant breakouts, but your main issue is oil, then I would go with the tea tree line. If your main issue is acne, then I would go with the acne line. Now I know those are very um, simple sentences that I'm saying for all of these, um, but I'm just trying to keep it as just easy and and um, easy to comprehend as possible, right? Main 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 concern is oil, then let's go with the tea tree. Main concern is acne, let's go with the acne line. If it's both, or you just really don't know, then you will see that our all of our lines are very customizable and interchangeable. You do not have to stick with every product in this line and don't stray from here because this is your problem and this is what you need. I use at least one product from every single line at different times of the week, okay? It just depends on kind of what's going on or what I feel like uh, or what my issue is or what time of the month it is or whatever, you know what I mean? Like it's very, very customizable. You can get with a beauty influencer that sent you this video, or you can get with me and we can come up with your own um, customized routine. Okay, two, we have two anti-aging lines. One is the Age Reversist. The other is um, the Resurface. So Age Reversist is good for 25 year olds and plus who are looking to combat the first signs of aging. Okay, so after age 20, you actually lose 1% of your collagen every year. So by the time um, you're 25, you've lost 5% of your collagen. The solution, is the, this solution, the Age Reversist, is for the prevention of fine lines and wrinkles. It actually stimulates collagen synthesis up to 65%. Um, the active ingredients in the Age Reversist is Laminera Digitara Extract. That's a seaweed extract that supports collagen production. Also, sodium carrageen, um, which is a concentrate of Scandinavian red algae that protects skin from environmental factors like pollution. Also, um, this also stimulates hyaluronic acid in the epidermis, okay? It also has marine plankton, 
which protects skin from UV radiation and pollution and has anti-aging properties as well. And this line is the one that also contains vitamin C. Vitamin C is another big anti-aging powerhouse that we all need. Uh, vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant that um, brightens the skin. So the Age Reversist line has a wash, a tonic, a serum, a moisturizer, a night mask, an instant perfecting cream, and an eye cream. The, uh, you may, when you're looking, not know the difference between um, like the moisturizer and the instant perfecting cream, just so you know. Instant perfecting cream is like our little magic in a pocket. It's a little magic in a packet. It's a genie in a bottle, okay? Um, it is a, I don't have any right now, I'm out um, to show you, but it's a little packet of cream that will instantly depuff dark circles. And then it lasts up to eight hours. So it's something that you would wanna do in the morning. It literally will depuff the bags, takes a few minutes, dab it on. You literally watch the magic happen. Then you can put on your uh, makeup over it. And like I said, that effect will last up to eight hours. It's awesome. So that is different than our moisturizer. Um, it also isn't something that is going to permanently reduce the puffiness, okay? It's something that is just um, temporary, and like I said, up to eight hours. Now, last one, which is my personal favorite, is the, or along with the calendula line, I told you I use this and the resurface interchangeably. Our resurface line is good for those of us that are 35 plus and already in the aging process. Um, I will say that... If you're watching this video and you don't agree, that's fine, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. I'm 39, I get told I don't look 39, I get I get told that I look like I'm in my 20s, which is awesome, yay, love that for myself. <laughs> but it's all because of the pharmacy skincare, it's awesome. So 35 plus already in the aging process. Once you reach 35, you have then lost 15% um, less collagen. Remember I said when you're 20, you lose 1% every year. So that by the time you're 35, you've now lost 15%, which obviously leads to sagging skin, wrinkles, damage, uneven skin tone, all the things. Um, and, as, you know, as much as you, you um, maybe like or have tried or whatever our pharmacy makeup or any makeup, any makeup for that matter, if you do not have a good skincare routine and a good base to work with, your makeup is not going to look good, okay? It doesn't matter how good the makeup is. If you do not have a good foundation, and I don't mean makeup foundation, I mean literal foundation underneath to work with, that you know your makeup won't apply well, it'll look dry and flaky, it'll look patchy, all the things. It's not the makeup, it's the skincare, okay? Um, our makeup does wonders, but if you don't have a good, uh, if you don't have the good building blocks underneath, you might not get the best effect. Okay, so, um, and that's with any makeup. I'm not just talking about pharmacy makeup. I'm just like literally anything. You have to have a good skincare routine underneath to um, get the makeup to look its best, right? So resurface line, right? So that 15% loss in collagen, like I said, leads to sagging skin, wrinkles, damage, uneven skin tone, all the bad things. The resurface line uh, actually targets and improves sagging skin, helps reverse the signs of aging, and prevents new wrinkles while soothing the existing fine lines. Okay, so this is for people who are already in the aging process. It does contain a propi propi I cannot say that word, words are hard, proprietary blend of vitamin C, E, and retinol. So yes, this does contain retinol. Um, the proprietary blend just means that it is, it is a blend of our own. It is a secret sauce, no one else has it, it is ours. Um, this blend actually boosts collagen production and increases cell turnover. So when I talk about increasing cell turnover, basically if you imagine the layers of your skin, up here is the dry, flaky, dead skin cells, all the you know nasty, wrinkling stuff, and then down here is your brand new, plump baby skin. Increasing cell turnover just means that we're bringing those new skin cells to the surface and flaking off the dead ones more quickly. We have a quicker cell turnover. Um, our retinol is different than most because it's in that proprietary blend. It is stabilized with that vitamin C and E. 
So this combo makes it unique and gives it better performance without irritation of other retinoids. So you may have found in the past that um, retinol has irritated your skin. You may give this a try and it may not irritate because of that proprietary blend. It is, um, the combo just kind of, like I said, gives it better performance, balances it out, and does not cause irritation that other retinoids can. Um, the other couple of active ingredients are Calera vulgaris extract, which is a green algae that is derived, um, it's a green algae derived ingredient that is known for its smoothing and hydrating properties. It also calms, soothes, and regenerates cells. We also have chicory leaf extract in the resurface line. So if you're familiar with pharmacy at all, you know we love our chicory. Um, it's in our coffee. So besides doing those amazing things for the inside of our bodies, um, it does amazing things on the outside as well. Refines, calms, balances, and smooths skin because of its high antioxidant, antioxidant properties. Um, just so you're aware, a little side note here, if you're someone who is interested in trying the resurface line, but maybe you can't afford the entire line right now, or maybe you just don't know if you want to commit to the entire line right now, um, and you just maybe want to try with a couple of products, I would recommend starting with the serum and the night cream. The reason why is because only the serum and the night cream contain that proprietary blend. So that's the one that has the vitamin C, E, and retinol. Um, the serum also contains, just while we're talking about it, the um, Calera, Vulgar Calera Vulgaris extract. And the night cream has the proprietary blend, the Calera Vulgaris extract, and the chicory leaf extract. So those two would be really good to start off if you only want to do like one or two products. Um, just so you know, retinol is stronger by nature. We talked about it a little bit earlier um, and can create sensitivity at first. It also can um, um, increase your sensitivity to sunlight, meaning you could burn a little bit easier. So just make sure you are always using, you should always be using your SPF anyway, but if you're using the resurface line, just be where you could become a little more sensitive to the sun. So always have your SPF. Also, because retinol is, is just stronger by nature, sometimes it can create um, a sensitivity. So I would recommend starting it off with just using it one to two times a week, then maybe working your way up to every other day and then using it daily. And then the resurface line comes with washer, toner, serum, day and night cream, and eye cream. There, I did that in 27 minutes and 45 seconds. That's not bad. That is all eight of our skincare lines. Um, there's so much more we can talk about when it comes to that, but it's really gonna be customizable to the individual as far as like what you may need from each line. And like I said, the beauty influencer that um, sent you this video, or if you're coming here on your own to me, we can come up with your own customized plan and you will find that um, everything is so interchangeable. That's really what I love about the brand um, is that you don't have to just stick, well, this is what you need and you have to use this and this and this and this. No, I interchange everything so much. Um, I talked to, a little bit about like the Age Reverses Night Mask. This is something instead of going with the Resurface Night Cream, some nights I use the All Night Beauty Mask from the Age Reverses line and I will just get that like, oh my God, you wake up and you have, just have like brand new baby skin, I swear. Um, so don't think that, well, I'm, you know, I'm not 25 plus, I'm 35 plus, so I can't use the age reverses line. No, that's not true. You will find that you can just intermingle all the things and just come up with something that is very customizable to you. Um, we have samples of everything that I talked about. So, except the charcoal. I don't think we have samples of the charcoal, do we? I'll have to, I'll check on that. But, um, yeah, we have, we have, uh, samples of every skincare line pretty much, um, you can get with me or the beauty influencer that, um, sent you this video and you can come up with your own little plan and things. So, um, I'm really bad when I end the videos, I don't know how to end them. So I'm just going to end it here, like cut, we're done. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them in the description or in the um, comment section below, or 
contact the person that sent you this video, okay? You guys have a great day and I'll talk to you later.